What's the relationship between space and imag imagination? And how do we relate to the unknown? I think I've just covered that, haven't I? Okay. I think this is talking about what I just said. If you're using imagination for something you've conceptualised. So when we conceptualise space, how do we do that? It's really interesting, isn't it? How could we possibly conceptualise space? To conceptualise anything, you have to have a kind of... There's something that you're already in touch with that you're now creating a concept out of. So with space, we're in touch with something which we then make a concept out of. But our concept will have to be bounded, won't it? It won't be it won't be the whole thing. Otherwise it would be space. But it's a concept of space and it's bounded. It has to be, as long as it's a concept it will be bounded. And we know that's not really space. I think normally we think of space, we think, and then fuzzy. <laughs> Equal distant fuzziness everywhere. <laughs> like a sphere of, with a fuzzy edge. <laughs> because the concept forces us to make an edge of some kind. Mm. But we know it doesn't have an edge, so we just make it fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's not, not intelligent. It is intelligent because it's the best image we can make of something that we can only know directly. We can't know it. You know, the image can point to it, but it can't be it. I have to make a... We made an intuitive leap when we said space. We knew something which we called space. So we intuited it. So we can use it in the same way to intuit what it was we originally intuited when we thought space. So it's a really fun and important um, exploration and investigation and place where insight, real insight can arise, to, to think about that, to contemplate that. I think contemplate is the right word, to contemplate that. It implies you're just staying with the wonder of that and allowing it to inspire you and open you up and something you can really respond to with wonder. So maybe that last sentence is the second part of the question of how do we relate to the unknown? It is about wonder, it is about humility, but it is also, you could express it as being giving up assumptions, finding them, and then questioning them. And then seeing if you can not make them not make that assumption. We can choose not to make the assumption once we've found it. And that's actually going to change our world. So be ready for that. You know, 
remove an assumption, everything changes. It's not like, oh, well, I'll just alter this bit. I'll keep this the same. If you let go of an assumption, everything changes. You've got to be prepared for that. And be open for that. You've got to be up for that. You've got to be wholehearted. You've got to realise it's very dangerous to be where you are with your assumptions. <laughs>